With which we're bringing our guests. Yeah. Joined now by author and broadcaster Emma Wolf, uh, and also former Labour advisor Matthew Laza to discuss. Let, this. Let's ask Matthew Laza mm, first let's. of all, because Simon J Janchuk was here. Yeah. You, you know Simon very well, former oh, Labour MP. I first met Simon when I was at school, Andrew, but at a young, a young socialist training event. Very good, very showing good. My well, age. you're showing your age. Um, but he said this is great for Labour. Yeah, I think it is. I think Simon's absolutely right. I think the Cameron appointment is uh, extraordinary um, b because it, it plays right into the hands uh, uh, of those who uh, think that A, Rishi is out of touch, but B, that he doesn't stick to what he said. How many weeks ago is it that we were told he was the change candidate? And, he, and, he, and, he's, brought and back. yet he's brought back. He's this blast from the past. And I was just thinking, you know, oh, is this a clever masterstroke? Some of the people around Rishi will be thinking it is, like when Gordon Brown uh, brought uh, Peter Mandelson yes, back from Brussels. That's right. But that was very very different because Peter it represented, in a sense, the Blairite faction, and that was all about uniting uh, the Blairites and the Brownites, ending the wars of the TBs and the GBs. Mm. Cameron doesn't represent any faction because if you're pro-European, you're pretty mad at Cameron for how he totally mishandled the referendum, and if you're a Brexiteer, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, he, you're on a different side of the but, argument anyway. But, he, but, he's, but, it, but you could argue also, Matthew, he. Uh, He's a class act. He was a he he was as he won a, he won two elections. More, more than your lot have done for a very, very <laughs> long did. time. Well, he was one, one and a half. One, one and, and a half. half. Yeah, he won, he won in a hung mm. parliament and then he won with a clear yeah, majority. Absolutely. Uh, and um, if the referendum had gone the other way, he, probably, he could have been prime minister for a very long time. Absolutely, but he didn't. And I think that that's the big. I mean, I think it was such a miscalculation. Yeah. And also that he scarpered the scene. That was terrible. There's still a lot of, there's a lot of people still bitter that he, he, he scarpered the scene in a sense. But they ended up with Theresa May and, you know, we know oh. what's followed since as a consequence of him departing uh, 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 so quickly. The other thing is, is he did have all this issue with this guy that he worked for, this financier, Lex Greensill. Lex I Greensill. wonder if uh, uh, your colleagues on Fleet Street have got things tucked away that maybe well, they may be pressing he, publish he, on he, about that. He did himself huge damage. Just to remind people, he was lobbying government ministers, including Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor, on behalf of a company which subsequently went bust. Absolutely, yes. Having had the guy, Greensill, in the Cabinet Office when he was Prime Minister, which looked like he was yes, warming him, him an up. Appointment, hadn't he? Yeah. Warming him up for when he left number 10, so that will all come back. Emma, what do you think? David Cameron. We're not talking about Suella, are we? So that's game, that's something but, for but Cameron. It, for yeah, but I think it comes Sunak. together. I think Braverman out and Cameron in is angering a lot on the right. There are so many Brexiteers texting me this morning going, that's it, voting reform. Because mm. instinctively, of course she mishandled. She's mishandled the past week. It wasn't done, whether you agree with her or not, it wasn't done the way a Home Secretary should have done it. But, but many, many instinctively agreed with Suella Braverman. Now they have David Cameron coming back. People are, you know, and, and this should have been uh, Sunak's moment. This should have been his moment of finally looking a bit like a leader, making decisions. And instead, as Matthew said, as Simon has said, this is going to play really well for, for Keir Starmer. So has he misread Rishi Sunak that David Cameron is viewed by the majority of people as being part of the West London liberal elite? Yes, indeed. Notting Hill, sir. Very socially exactly. progressive, um, probably rather broad-minded about immigration. He always was. And so it's going to backfire on him it if isn't. what he wanted to do is to bring over people who might be voting for reform or Labour. I think there's absolutely no doubt that Sunak is now on borrowed time. I don't think anyone can see him carrying on after this. Who, um, does, he, who does he appeal to then? Who does he think David Cameron? Because I was saying maybe it's those Conservative voters who liked him because he wasn't particularly controversial yeah. and they saw, see him as a fairly safe pair of hands back in government, a grown-up. That middle ground suits. who were considering voting Labour, who are instinctively Tory but were considering voting for, for Sir Kirsten. Yes. So yes, he is going to appeal to that, but I think that, that enough I mean, obviously people? a reshuffle is chaotic by its very nature, mm. but this doesn't look like Rishi Sunak's um, in charge, really. What, do, what, do you think, do you agree with that? Well, I think, I think what's really... I mean, it's a big decision, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, I think there was a story this morning that the, um, uh, that the Lib Dems were hoping to weaponise Suella um, if, she, if she lingered on uh, against uh, uh, the Tories in the Blue in the Wall. the Blue Wall. Absolutely. And I think that this, the Cameron, rather than me, looks like uh, Sunak's given up on the Red Wall uh, and is now literally trying to, uh, to sort of draw up the Blue Wall because Cameron mm -hmm. does appeal to those posh seats yes, in the does. home county. Yes, that's right. So so Oxfordshire, no, yeah, Berkshire, no Surrey, I think there is a sense, if you talk to Blue, Red Wall Tory MPs, they pretty much know it's over. Yeah. But is that going to be enough, Matthew? Is no, that no I don't think it will be. him over the line? Absolutely. Because no, I don't other think it news, will be. Labour are way ahead. Labour are doing brilliantly yeah, in the yeah. latest polls. Yeah. And the other thing is, it, just, it seems tone deaf as soon as, because if you're one of those voters in that blue wall, quite a lot of those people are pro-European. Yeah. They've got second homes in Europe, yeah. a large number of them. And they're still not going to forgive Cameron for them mishandling the referendum. What? I think if they brought Hague back, actually, I think Christopher mentioned that yeah. Hague's a sort of eminence grease 
keys to Sunak. That would have sent out a signal that, yes, I'm bringing back a Liberal Tory, but one who's got wider appeal. Cameron seems to me damaged goods. What about the democratic idea that we're having a foreign secretary operating in the House of Lords? Not, so he can't be challenged by elected MPs. That does seem to me very strange. And, that I mean, and he hasn't yes. been voted in no, by no, any of the electors. Well, yeah. again. And, and people feel this about Sunak already, yeah. that he hasn't been voted in, yeah. that they've been replaced and replaced. Yeah. And so I think this is only... People are saying yeah. general election yeah. now. Yeah, but well, that won't come. But that is, a, that, that is going to be what some people are arguing. Where is the democracy, democracy here? Because Where elected is MPs should be able to, to chat. answer yeah. questions yeah. in, yes, in yeah. the House and of we, Commons. And we haven't had a foreign secretary in the House Lords since. Carrington resigned over the Falklands War. That was 1982. So the change candidate, Matthew, is turning the clock back. It's, it's, it's How many years? The year in. 40 years. Yes, 40 years. It doesn't look very modern. It doesn't look very well, future looking. Well, I'm thinking looking. of uh, yeah. Yeah, Anthony Trollope Lords. with the Prime Minister being in the House of Lords and not being in yeah, the House yeah. of Commons at all. Well, I'm, the sure, thing is, I'm sure he looked very fetching in his early oh, no, no, you know, I mean, and he's, I mean, the, he's been, I mean, the thing about him is he's not even been particularly involved in, in policy. I mean, we, yeah, there was a story this morning that Tony Blair wants to be the envoy in Gaza. He's not been doing things like, he's been helping out at his local food bank. Please don't let Tony Blair be the envoy in Gaza. Yeah. He has. Tony Blair, the Envoy and Guards, he the, was a Middle East peace envoy. He didn't do very well with that. Well, quite, quite but the, no, no, I mean, it certainly uh, it didn't make much of a difference. But, he's, no um, but he's the uh, the FT is, uh, says that uh, he's acceptable to Netanyahu this morning. Let's, but, um, let's but, yeah. but, but Cameron was just... So that's another shed. former Prime Minister another coming Prime back. Another former Prime Minister coming back, but on an international stage. But do you remember the, um, what's going to happen to Cameron's shed? Do you remember when he left, he had this 25,000 pounds shed in his garden? Maybe it'll go on eBay. You put the trash. But I think the worst thing about that garden shed it was a gypsy caravan, was the it fact was that he was photographed, he got it for free, even though it was 20 Did he? Didn't he? As an was influencer. That the point, didn't and, he? and wrote a book that really didn't sell. Book. <laughs> yeah, it's very heavily and, and I, I would like to know what Samantha Cameron thinks of this this morning, because she didn't really hold back on the fact that she was quite happy when he left. She yeah. was I spent the weekend looking on happy. her dresses website, deciding, Dude. because she's done yeah. very well. No. I decided they're a bit too expensive. Actually, no, but. her fashion company hasn't done well. No, you, they I don't, don't I don't do like well. They keep having to have injections of cash in it. It's very difficult to make. It's quite niche it, it might be nice clothes, but it's very difficult very to make these labels work.